too. Uh, education, I believe, is the fundamental for the success of a person. Success and wealth creation happens with a good educational background, which in my opinion is the basic foundation that helps provide logical thinking, ability to see market direction, etc. Not my words, but the words of Mr. B. V. Jagdish, Chairman of the Board, Net Magic Solutions. Few will recall that Mr. Jagdish's love for education led him to donate a million dollars for the uplift of municipal corporation schools in his hometown, Bangalore, in the year 2000. But Mr. Jagdish is better known as the co-founder of Exodus Communications, a leader in web co-location services. He has a habit of taking companies like Exodus from startup to leadership position. He was instrumental in leading this company through a very successful IPO. He also grew Netscaler, a market leader in application delivery systems, until it was acquired by Citrix for 325 million in the year 2005. So, what's next, Mr. Jagdish? Did I hear cloud computing? Yes. Again? <laughs> in a few moments, Mr. Jagdish will share his vision of how enterprises will adopt cloud computing technologies and services, utilizing computing power dynamically while, ser while saving millions of dollars in IT capital, operational and energy costs. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. B.V. Jagdish. yesterday. Was it good? Good. You know, um, intra, is my presentation up? Um, intra brings back a lot of memories to me. The very first intra in fact, I was just speaking with uh, the general manager of Interop from uh, US. Um, the very first Interop was held back in 1987. This is at the cusp of the entire networking industry, which is about to take off. Because remember, back in 1987, right, Cisco was a very young company. Cisco, in fact, hadn't even gone public. And I used to work for a company called Bridge Communications which was acquired by 3Com, and Bridge was one of the very early pioneers of building bridges and routers. And I attended the first interop conference. This was in Monterey, California, and there were less than 200 people who attended the first conference. It's great to see the first interop in India, right, with almost uh, 1,500, 2,000 people, which is pretty remarkable. And, you know, hats off to the organizers who have put together a fantastic show and managed to attract really, like, high-quality and high-caliber delegates to attend this conference and put up a, an excellent exhibition and show as well for all of you to understand what's going on in the world. And I'm actually even more impressed with you know, all the technologies and everything that's being deployed and the questions that have been coming from the audience for various speakers. I sat through several presentations all of yesterday. Believe it or not, I did not feel much of a difference excepting the size, whether I was attending an interop in Las Vegas or I'm attending an interop here in Bombay. So great job. And I really want to commend, you know, the work that has been done by all of you and uh, wish you many more successes. So I just want to take you through today over the next 45 minutes to an hour some of the experiences that I have gained in this industry, especially over the last 
15 to 20 years, ever since we started Exodus Communications. So the topic that has been chosen is, is cloud computing for real? And what is a cloud? Is cloud you know, yet another hype? I mean, those of you who recall, back in 1994, there was this technology called ATM, Asynchronous Transfer Mode. Everybody, you walk in to any of the conferences back in those days, right? everybody was talking about ATM. And you know what happened to ATM, right? It pretty much the whole technology just died off. So several such technologies have created the hype. And there is a lot of skepticism when you talk to the CIOs, when you talk to traditional enterprises as to is cloud a real thing? Does it really mean anything to me, at least in the next few years? So let's try to understand a little bit more on what this cloud is. And I'm going to take you through, from my own experience, the evolution of the cloud as I have seen, because firsthand I've seen when we deployed Exodus data centers worldwide, the kind of customers who adapted, and what it looked like back then, and how do you map that to today's market? So one of the key things to understand, right, any time when you have new technologies like this that comes in, there is a trend. And the trend is both on the technology side and on the business side. So these are the drivers that help make these kind of new buzzwords to become successful. Let's take a look at what some of these trends are. So the first one is the processor and the memory technology trend. This is very, very critical. Until about four years ago, processors made by Intel AMD primarily essentially increase the capacity that increase the size of a single processor. So they reached a stage where they couldn't expand the capacity of the same processor. And they started about three, four years ago to bring in more CPUs into the same socket. So if you look at what started off as two cores, which one core in 94, and then it became like two cores, and today, you, you can get eight cores on the same socket. Intel Nehalem processors, the current one has four cores, but the next generation is going to have about eight cores per socket. And AMD is already shipping six cores per socket. So the density, that means the number of CPUs that you can have on a per socket is increasing significantly. And that's going to go up. The expectation is that very soon you will have close to like 16 or so cores running on a single socket. So if you look at it, today's server motherboard, right, the base level is like two sockets, and then it goes up to four sockets, and there are high-end machines that are built with even eight sockets, which acts as a single system. So now go back, you know, to early 70s and 80s, where we all came from this mainframe world. It's kind of, it looks as if like you're coming one full circle back with large systems that are being built. The only difference is today you are building these machines 